Welcome to today's yoga session. Let's start by sitting in any comfortable position. Sukhasana, Vajrasana, whatever you feel like. Let's close our eyes and take a few moments to observe our breath. With the back straight, Let's bring all our focus to our breathing and remove any distractions. Let's start today's session by chanting an Omkara, three Omkaras while we exhale, followed by the starting prayer. Hands at the heart center, eyes closed. Take a deep breath, inhale. Inhale. Oh. Inhale. Sahanavavatu, Sahanau Bhunaktu, Sahaviryam Karavavahai, Peja Svinavadhi Tamastuma Vishavahai, Om Shanti Shanti Shanti. Let's rub our palms to generate some warmth. And once it's warm, let's cup it over our eyes, massage it over our facial muscles, our neck muscles. And with a few blinks looking at our palm, let's open our eyes. Let's get started with today's session by standing and doing some warm-up practices. Let's stand on the mat. Let's start with hand stretch breathing. Let's extend our hands in front of us. Tuck our thumb inside the four fingers. And whenever you're ready, let's start rotating away from each other. Let's make sure that we are not bending our elbow. Feel the stretch all along your arms while you do this. Let's synchronize our breathing with the practice. Let's reverse the direction. Gradually slow down the practice and relax. Take a few moments to observe the changes around your wrists. Next, let's go to some hand stretch breathing. Let's place our hands in front of us palms facing towards each other, touching towards each other. And as you inhale, stretch your hands all, in, all across as much as you can. As you exhale, bring them back together. Continue the practice. Let's make sure that our breathing is rhythmic to our practice. Let's be aware of the stretches on our arms and our breathing while we are doing this practice. Inhale, open up your chest, exhale, inhale and exhale, inhale and exhale, inhale and exhale, inhale and exhale. Gradually slow down the practice and relax. Next, 
Let's crisscross our hands and turn them away from us. Now put your hands all the way on the top of your head. And while your toes are raised, inhale, open up your chest. Exhale, bring your hands back to the heart center. Inhale, stretch your arms all the way up. Bring, stand on your toes. Exhale, come back to the heart center. Let's continue the practice. Four and five. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale and exhale. Two more, the last round. Let's hold the position. Now, continue to stand on your toes and continue to stretch your arms. Observe the stretch all along, right from your fingers all the way to your, your wrists, your elbows, your shoulders, your chest, all the way up to your toes. Exhale and relax. Relax your arms. Next, let's go for some waist twist or torso twist. Let's spread our legs about two to about one feet apart and put your hands in front of you at the shoulder level. As you inhale, bend your left arm and go back as much as your body can. And as you exhale, fold your right hand and go on the other way. Let's do this rhythmic to the breathing pattern. With each inhalation and exhalation, try to deepen the practice. And let's do as much as our body allows us to. Observe the twist around your waist muscles. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Observe the changes along with your breathing pattern. Inhale and exhale. You can pick up the pace as much as your body allows you to. Now gradually slow down the practice. Inhale and exhale. Next, gradually relax. Take few moments to observe the changes around your arms and your waist. Next, let's move on to some knee rotation. Let's spread our legs to have some space between both the, uh, between the feet. And as you inhale, expand or stretch your legs, uh, knees apart. As you exhale, straighten them all the way at the back. Let's make this into a circular motion. Inhale and exhale. Inhale when you go apart and exhale when you come together. Inhale and exhale. Inhale when your knees are apart. Exhale when the knees are together. Continue the practice. Observe the changes on the knee joint. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Gradually slow down the practice and relax. Let's do shoulder rotation. Let's put our hands on top of our shoulders. And as you inhale, raise your elbows all the way up, all the way back. Open up your chest. And as you exhale, bring your elbows together. Lift your elbows as much as possible. Inhale and exhale. Inhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Observe the changes around your shoulder joints. Inhale and exhale. Next, let's reverse the direction. Inhale and exhale. Gradually slow down the practice. And relax. Observe the changes around your shoulder joints. Next, let's move on to an asana, Ardhakati Chakrasana. Let's start by raising our right arm. Sidewards at the shoulder level, flip your palm to face upward. Continue to raise your arms. 
Inhale. When your biceps touch your ears, stretch all the way up as though someone is pulling us up from the top. And as you exhale, laterally bend towards your left. Let's make sure our elbows are straight. Normal breathing. Observe all the changes in your right side of your body. The stretch around your wrists, your elbows, your shoulders, chest, your waist. Inhale as you come back to the center. Exhale as you slowly lower your arms at the shoulder level. Flip your palm to face downward and relax. You can feel a small tingling sensation. That's completely normal. Let's take a few moments to observe the changes on your right side of your body. Next, let's do the same on the left side. Raise your left arms sidewards. At the shoulder level, flip your palm to face upward. Continue to raise. When your arm is all the way up, where your biceps are touching your ear, stretch up as much as you can. Exhale, bend laterally towards the right. Let's make sure our elbows are straight. Feel the stretch all along the left side of the body. Normal breathing. Inhale. Let's come back to the center. Exhale. Lower your arm. Flip your palm to face downward at the shoulder level. And relax. Take a few moments to observe the changes. Next, let's move on to Trikonasana. Let's spread our legs about two to three feet apart. As you inhale, raise both of your arms sidewards up to shoulder level. And as you exhale, bend laterally towards the right, where your right arm is touching the right foot. And the left arm is all the way straight. Bend your neck and look towards the tip of your left arm. Normal breathing. Observe the stretch all along the different parts of the body. As you inhale, straighten your neck. And gradually come back to the center. As you exhale, lower your arms and bring your feet back together. Take a few moments to observe the changes on your body, the stretch on the left side of your body. Let's do the same on the left side. Stretch your legs, feet apart two to three, about two to three feet. Spread your arms sidewards as you inhale, at the sh up to the shoulder level. And as you exhale, bend laterally towards the left side where your left arm touches your left foot and the right arm is all the way straight up. Turn your neck and look towards the tip of your fingers on the right hand. Normal breathing. Observe the stretch on the right side of your body. As you inhale, turn your neck forward and come back to the center. As you exhale, relax your arms and let's bring the feet together. Let's move on to some sitting asanas. Let's sit down on the mat. We can start with some warm-up practices. Let's start with ankle rotation. Let's make sure that there is sufficient space between both the feet. And while you inhale, bend your ankle all the way towards the right. 
stretch it all the way forward. And as you exhale, bend your feet all the way towards the left and back towards you. This will form one circular motion. Let's continue to do five rounds in one direction and then let's reverse the direction. As you inhale, come towards the right and as you exhale, go towards the left. Let's make sure that we are observing every change that's happening on the ankle joint. Let's reverse the direction. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. One more. Inhale and exhale. And relax. Next, let's move on to Bhuna Manasana. Let's start by placing our right hand, both of our right palms on the right side of the body and make sure that your lower hip is on the mat and try to bend down as much as possible. As you exhale, when you come back, inhale. Let's do the same on the left side. Place both your palms on the left side. Exhale while you go down. Inhale while you come back up. Observe the twist happening all around your waist muscles. Let's make sure that the lower hip is on the mat. Exhale. Inhale when you come back. Let's continue the practice. Inhale and exhale. Exhale while you go down and inhale while you come up. Gradually slow down the practice. And relax. Take few moments to observe the changes around your shoulder joints, your waist, your back. Next. Let's bend our knees and put our feet facing each other, touching each other. Use your crisscross fingers to hug over your, hold over your feet. With the back straight, let's start flapping our knees, Baddha Konasana. This is an excellent practice which strengthens the back and provides relaxation to all the muscles, especially after a long sitting day. With every inhalation and exhalation, let's try to deepen the practice. Gradually slow down. And relax. Release your arms. And let's spread, straighten our legs. Let's spread our legs apart. Across as much as we can. Let's crisscross our fingers. Crisscross both the arms. And as you inhale, slightly lean back. And as you exhale, move forward in a circular motion. Inhale and when you go forward, exhale. Let's make a nice big circle. Observe the changes on your back, your waist, your shoulders, your elbows, your knees, your hamstrings. This is an excellent practice for losing weight as well as strengthening your back. This is also good for women to strengthen their reproductive system. Let's reverse the direction. One, two, three, four, five. Next, let's just stretch our arms in front of us and slide your arms all the way forward. When you exhale and slightly lean back, when you 
Inhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. With every inhalation and exhalation, let's try to deepen the practice. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Gradually slow down the practice and relax. Let's bring our feet back together. Take few moments to observe the changes. Become aware of the state of different parts of your body. Next, let's move on to Karudasana. Those who have trouble bending the knees, you can do it as much as your body allows you to. Let's start by bending the right knee and sliding it below the left knee. Bend your left knee and place it over your right knee. Both the knees are one on top of the other while the heels are outside the body. For those who have trouble bending the knees, you can do it as much as your body allows you to. That's completely fine. As you inhale, raise your right arm up, bend your elbow and try to reach out to your back. Open up your chest. That's the most important thing. As you exhale, bend your left elbow and try to reach your back where both of your hands meet. It's if you are not able to touch both of your fingers, that's completely fine. As much as you're able to touch your back, that is good. We can also use some towel or any kind of string that helps us to hold both the ends of it for support. You can also try to walk your fingers towards each other so that they both meet. Open up your chest and breathe normally. As you inhale, release your left arm. And as you exhale, release your right arm. And let's straighten the left knee and then straighten the right knee. Relax and take few moments to observe the changes on different parts of the body. Let's do the same on the other side. Let's bend our left knee and slide it under the right knee. Let's bend our right knee and place it over the left knee, both knees one on top of the other. As you inhale, raise your right arm, bend your elbow and reach out your back. Let's make sure that our hand is lifted up as much as possible and open up your chest. As you exhale, bend your right elbow and try to reach out to your back where both your arms are touching each other on your back. If you're not able to touch both the hands together on the back, that's completely fine. You can also use the help of a prop, as I mentioned, like a towel or a string that can help hold both the sides. Normal breathing. This practice is excellent for those with asthma to help the lung capacity improve. As you inhale, relax your right arm. And as you exhale, relax your left arm. Release and straighten your right knee, right leg, and then the left leg. Take few moments to observe the changes on different parts of your body.
Next, let's move on to supine practices. Let's lay down on our back. Turn towards the right side of your body and support your head with your right arm. Place your left arm in front of your chest. Let's make sure that both the legs are one on top of the other straight. Whenever you're ready, as you inhale, raise your left leg as high as possible. And when you exhale, bring it down. Let's continue the practice. Let's become aware of the stretches along your pelvic joints, your hamstrings, your thighs, your knees. Stretch your foot. Observe the stretches all along the left leg. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. With every practice, try to deepen your move. Gradually slow down the practice. And relax. Let's do the same on the left side. Roll your body towards the left side and support your head using your left arm. Place your right arm in front of your chest. Let's make sure that our leg is straight. Whenever you're ready, inhale and lift your right leg as high as you can. Exhale when you bring it down. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale and exhale. Let's continue to do this practice at our own pace, becoming completely aware of the stretches. Inhale and exhale. Let's make sure that the knee is straight. Inhale and exhale. Gradually slow down the practice. And relax. Let's come back to our back. Rest on your back. Next, let's do Ardha Pavana Muktasana Kriya. Let's start by bending our right knee. Use your crisscross fingers to pull your knee towards your chest as much as possible. Whenever you're ready, lift your head and your shoulders both towards your knee as you inhale. And Start making circular motions using your left leg. Let's make sure that our left leg is straight. Continue to do circular motions. Three, four, five. Let's reverse the direction. One, two, three, four, and five. Gradually slow down the practice and relax your left leg. Release your head back to the mat. Release your arms and relax. Now let's do the same on the left, the other leg. Let's bend the left knee. Just use your crisscross fingers to pull your knee towards your chest. As you inhale, pull your neck towards your knee. And as you exhale, continue to make circular motions with the right leg. Make good, nice circular motions. Three, four, and five. Let's reverse the direction. One, two, three, four, and five. Now for a few moments, let's hold the position while your right leg is up, stretch your right leg. 
at an angle, hold the position. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now gradually lower your right leg back to the mat. Release your head back to the mat. Release your hands and straighten your legs. Relax for a few moments and observe the changes in your neck, in your back, your shoulders, your knees, your arms. Next, let's move on to the asana, that is cycling. Let's bend both the knees. And while you straighten one leg, keep your other knee bent. And then when you straighten the other leg, keep your one knee bent, thereby making a cycling motion in a circular manner. Let's continue to do cycling while we are straightening the knees and bending the knees in a constant basis. Next, now reverse the direction. Make sure that your knees straighten and bend alternatively. Gradually slow down the practice. And Relax both of your legs. Next, let's move on to the next practice. Let's make sure that our hands or our palms are on the mat. Bend both of your knees and bring your heels as close to the body as possible. Bring your heels as close to the body as possible. And whenever you're ready, as you inhale, lift your pelvic region and your chest as high up as you can. And as you exhale, bring it down to the mat. Inhale, lift your pelvic in the stomach, and the chest region. Exhale, bring it back to the mat. Inhale and exhale. Let's continue the practice. Inhale, exhale, inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Four more. Inhale, exhale, inhale and exhale. Now, the next one, let's retain and hold the position. Now, while it is lifted, normal breathing. Hold the position. Observe the changes in your back, your shoulders, your knees, your abdominal muscles. And as you exhale, relax. Extend and straighten your right knee and straighten your left knee. Next, let's stretch our legs apart. Let's move into a deep relaxation session. Let's make sure that we remove any accessories that prevent us from being relaxed, spectacles, our hair bands, bangles, watches. Let's keep them aside. Mentally have a 3D image of your body. While we close our eyes, Let's bring our awareness to the tip of our toes. Gently make very slight movements in the tip of your toes to become aware of its presence. And relax your toes.
slowly move your focus to your heel. Gently wriggle your heels to make sure they are in a relaxed state. Let go of any tightness in your ankle joints. Completely relax your feet. Slowly move your awareness up to the knees. Observe your knees rested on the mat. Gently tighten your knee joints. Tighten. Tighten the muscles around the knee joints. Tighten it a little more. Tighten. Tighten it. And relax. While the feet and the knees are completely at rest, relax your thighs. Let's bring our attention to the pelvic region. Gently tighten the muscles around the pelvic region. Pull the muscles gently towards the center. Tighten it a little more. Tighten. Tighten it. And relax. While the lower part of the body is completely at rest. As we exhale, let's chant a long ah sound, ah kara, and try to experience the resonance of this vibration throughout the lower part of the body. Take a deep breath. Inhale and chant ah. Ah. Observe the vibrations in the lower part of the body. Relax your back. Observe your abdomen moving up and down. Rhythmic to the breathing pattern. Let's bring our attention to the chest. Observe the movements of your chest. Rhythmic to the breathing pattern. Slowly shift your focus to your shoulders. Gently wriggle your shoulders up and down to make sure they are in their best relaxed state. And relax your shoulders. Observe the tip of your fingers. Gently make very slight movements in the tip of your fingers. Relax your palms. Up. 
Observe your elbow that is rested on the mat. Relax your neck. While the middle part of the body is completely at rest, as we exhale, let's chant a long O sound, O kara. And try to experience the resonance of the vibrations in the chest. Take a deep breath. Inhale. Slowly bring your attention to your forehead. Let go of any tightness in your forehead. Relax your eyebrows. Relax your eyeballs. Observe the cool air going into your nostrils and the warm air exiting your nostrils. Relax your cheeks. Relax your chin and your tongue. Relax your ears. While the head region of the body is completely at rest, let's chant a long makara or the bumblebee sound, experiencing those sound vibrations throughout the head region. Take a deep breath and inhale. Mm. While the whole body is completely in a rested state, let's combine all the three sounds and give a total relaxation to the body. Take a deep breath and as we exhale, let's chant a ah, ooh, and the makara. Inhale. Ah. Observe the vibrations throughout the body.
gently make slight movements in the tip of your toes. Very slow movements in your heel. Gently make little movements in the tip of your fingers. No movements in your shoulders. Raise your right hand all the way up at the back. Rest your palm on the mat. Slowly roll towards the right side of your body with your knees bent. Whenever you're ready, with the help of your left elbow, slowly come back to the sitting position. You can keep your eyes closed if you wish. Hope you had a good relaxation session. This deep relaxation is very important as it is the time to reap all the benefits from the stretching that we have done through all the warm-up practices and the asanas. With that, we can move on to pranayama or the breathing practices. Let's make sure that pranayama is always done in a light or empty stomach. Always breathe through your nostrils unless instructed so. Let's make sure that there is no pressure in any facial part of the body while we are breathing. Do not exert any pressure on the facial muscles. Keep it relaxed with a gentle smile on your face. We do it with complete awareness and focus within our body and the breathing, eliminating any other distractions. For those with high blood pressure, they can skip this practice that we are doing the next, that is Kapalabhati or the fire breath. With high blood pressure or the heart condition, they can skip Kapalabhati practice. Let's start by adopting the chin mudra where the index and the thumb fingers are touching each other and the other fingers are out. Let's place the right hand on our right thigh. You can either adopt the chin mudra for the left hand or place it over your stomach. This is a practice where we do quick, deep exhalations, forceful exhalations to let out any trapped carbon dioxide. Let's start by forcefully exhaling out through our nose and keeping our mouth closed. Let's start. You can observe your stomach going in and out in a rhythmic, fast rhythmic manner. We can do a count of 60, 90, 120, as much as our body allows you to. And then you can take a quick break 
from breathing and just stay still. Continue until a count of 60 or 90. This is an excellent practice to increase our prana shakti or the life force. It increases immunity. It improves our focus and clarity. Improves our concentration. Whenever the body is done, you can see that it neither wants to take an inhalation or an exhalation, but just to stay still. Continue to stay still at that moment. We can do any number of sets of Kapalabhati. In the count of 30, 60 or 90 or how much ever your body allows you to at a time. Whenever you're ready, let's move on to Nadi Shuddhi Pranayama. Let's start by adopting the Nasika Mudra. Bending your index finger and your middle fingers inside while your other three fingers are out. Let's make sure our back is straight to ease the breathing. Close your right nostril with the thumb. Always start by exhaling on the left side. Completely exhale on the left through your left nostril. Emptying your abdomen and chest. Inhale on the left side again. Close your left nostril with the ring finger. And exhale on the right side. Empty your chest and your abdomen. Inhale again on the right side. Keeping your left nostril closed. Now close your right nostril with the thumb. And exhale completely on the left. This forms one round of Nadi Shuddhi Pranayama. Let's practice five rounds. Let's continue. Exhale on the left, closing your right nostril with the thumb. Inhale on the left. Close your left nostril with the ring finger. Exhale on the right. Until you have emptied your abdomen and chest. Inhale. Fill it up with air. And exhale. On the left side closing. The right nostril with the thumb. Let's make sure that the exhalation is longer than the inhalation time. Complete awareness on your breath. You can see that your lung capacity increases when you do this on daily basis. It reduces inflammation, 
provides clarity of mind. It greatly benefits the students in improving the quality of focus and concentration. It balances the ingala and idanadis. Whenever you're done with five rounds, let's move on to Brahmari or the Bumblebee practice. Let's start by closing our ear lobes with the thumb finger while we are closing up, cupping over our eyes the four fingers. While we exhale, let's chant the Na Kara Na as in Namaste and touch the tip of our tongue to the top of our palate and try to experience the vibrations throughout the head region. Let's do two rounds of Brahmari. Let's start by inhaling, take a deep breath. Mm. Inhale, take a deep breath. Brahmari promotes healing around the ear, nose, throat region and improves our voice quality when practiced on a regular basis. Once you're done, whenever you're ready, let's bring our hands at the heart center. Eyes closed. Let's chant one Omkara followed by the ending prayer as we come towards the end of the session. Take a deep breath. Inhale. Oh. Bhavantu Sukhinaha, Sarve Santu Niramayaha, Sarve Bhadrani Pashyantu, Makaschid Dukabhag Havet, Om Shanti Shanti Shanti. Let's take our hands at the back, the right hand, left hand holding the right wrist. Slightly lean back, inhale. And as you exhale, bend forward to pay our gratitude to the divine and all the masters of yoga who have given us this precious knowledge. Thank you to the divine. Thank you to all the masters of yoga. Slowly come back to the center when you in, while you inhale. Release your hands. Let's rub our palms together to generate some warmth. Rub, rub, rub. And once it's warm, let's cup it over our eyes. Massage it over our facial muscles and our neck muscles. With a few blinks, looking at our palm, let's open our eyes. With this, we have come towards the end of today's session. Hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you all for joining with us. Have a wonderful week ahead. Namaste.